There's an array of color to be found in the exhibition Pure Pigments on view at the Museum of Wisconsin Art on the Lake. I'm here with artist Colette Odia Smith and Darren Lillian. I'm Kat Minera. Let's go look at this. The exhibition is called Pure Pigments. I think one of the interesting things about showing your work together especially is the difference in subject matter. I've lived in Waukesha for 35 years so I've done a lot of bicycling around there and so when I decided that I wanted to get back into doing some artwork that was sort of a natural thing for me to to look at the, the, uh, the countryside around Waukesha and Waukesha. I've just always been drawn to nature, even if it's little corners right in the city. I live in Wauwatosa near the county grounds, so I've been stomping around there and photographing for years. Uh, when my children were younger and we would take vacations, you know, it would be to the UP and to parks and places like that. So they would always be asking me to hurry up because I was busy taking pictures and they were further down, you know, further down the hiking path. But that's what got me started in that direction. Just always loved it. To be as artists, what is it about pastels, particularly, that draws you to them? Well, the colors are already made for me. <laughs> I spent uh, 30 years in the printing business matching colors, huh. and uh, it would take 45 minutes. I figured 45 minutes to match a color, and so when I decided I wanted to get back into artwork, I decided I wanted to let, let that go by the wayside for a while. For me, pastels became a good fit. I used to paint in oils, but I had issues with the solvents and um, my concerns about the health uh, with that. And a friend advised me to check into pastels because the mindset of working with them was very similar to oil painting, but didn't have that health issue. You do have to worry about the dust, but what I found was that the pigment color is so rich and vibrant, and it's immediate. You want to start to paint, you pick up your pastels and you go at it. So Colette, you have a lot of beautiful landscape paintings with water and trees and foliage. Mm -hmm. um, where are the locations for, uh, that these were, were based on? I see these kinds of images almost anywhere I go if I can find them. Some of these are from Door County, I teach there in the summer. Some are from Hoyt Park and the Menominee River and the River Valley. Uh, some of these in the show are from uh, Monet's Garden in Giverny. This is from? This is actually along the Menominee River Parkway. And what you're looking at is the magic of the moving water. And you're looking through it to the weeds and grasses and you're seeing reflections and shadows. And I like catching that mystery. This is a place people drive by all the time, might not take a look and notice. And so, Darren, you live in Waukesha, and you do a lot of images of the surrounding area. And tell us about these pieces. Well, these, these two pieces are done at two different times of the year. This is done in late winter, maybe February or March, and this is done in uh, maybe uh, June or what is it that captures your attention about a certain place that makes you say, ah, this is where I, I want to draw? I've never quite figured that out, uh, other than sometimes I'll be driving by and all of a sudden I'll see that, that the lighting is such, or the, the snow is such, or whatever is. Before, four or five times, times I've driven by and it's not interesting. Colette, thank you so much. Thank you. And Darren, it's a pleasure. Oh, you're welcome. Great having you here. And join us again next time when we'll look at something else.